Hello again, I am Blunty, and this bugger bears the uninspiring moniker of the Nikon FT1 adapter. Some of you may have seen my earlier little test video I did on my first day with it, and if so, you'll already know that its purpose in life is to let you mount the F-mount lenses, those designed for and used on Nikon's DSLR cameras, onto the new mirrorless Nikon 1 series cameras, which currently consist of the J1 and what I've been using with it, the V1. And to whack onto the other end so I can actually test it, I've got Nikon's most inexpensive lens in their entire lineup, the ever accessible 50mm f1.8. And to represent the third party lenses, a really nice bit of glass from Sigma, their 12 to 24 EXDG HSM. With these lenses designed for the big boy DSLRs, the significantly more compact sensor of the V1 means you get a crop factor of 2.7 times. So your field of view with these lenses becomes effectively that of a 135 and a 32 to 65 millimeter lens respectively. So with the adapter kachinked into place on your J1 or V1, your lens selection choices expand significantly. And even though your field of view is narrowed for any respective focal length, you do still keep the benefits of faster apertures that, as yet, the native Nikon 1 system's own lenses don't reach. And of course, the availability of superb glass from a much more mature and time-honed lens system. The adapter isn't just a simple mount adapter, it has technology built in so that the lenses maintain electronic communication with the body, which means metering works properly, autofocus works properly, and electronic control of the aperture works properly. All electronic control is maintained end to end. And as for that autofocus, although a little slower than the V1's native glass, which it has to be said is pretty nippy, it is still every bit as accurate and responsive as you can see here. Bird, building, bird, building, bird, building, close, far, you get the point. Solid focus lock every time, each time, time and time again, absolutely reliably. However, what you don't get is continuous servo focus, so it's one press, one lock, a shame, but only a minor one. Another little limitation is that you can only use the center focus point, but frankly, that's how I usually shoot anyway, so it wasn't really an issue for me. Both lenses performed absolutely flawlessly with the adapter. The Fast 50 acting like a 135 gave me some nice background blur, and that 12 to 24 Sigma gave me a really useful short zoom range of 32 to 65. Swapping lenses is as fast and easy as it is on their native bodies, and the lock is solid and confident. The little camera body does feel pretty front heavy with those larger than usual lenses and adapter bolted on the front, but it's something you can quickly adjust to. And the adapter also has its own tripod mount, so no excess strain is put on the body with heavier glass attached. Now I've been showing you a video, but of course the story remains the same for stills. The image is exactly what you'd expect. No nasty surprises, just crisp detail and good colour. Focus is just as quick and dependably consistent, and the faster lenses open up some more flexibility in shooting. The FT1 is well built, easy to use, it was utterly dependable in the field and it can be upgraded via firmware so it's pretty future proof too. I reckon it's best used with fast primes at the shorter end and short zooms as the crop factor on longer lenses will make it a bit hard to manage, at least handheld, but it could also be a huge bonus if you're a wildlife shooter. Not a bad investment I'd say. It opened up some extra doors of fun and flexibility for the still young Nikon One system cameras. Thanks for watching, I'm Blunty and I'll catch you next time.